In Mark Twain's book, Following the Equator, he references an incident that happened with his cat. Apparently, she had climbed up on the oven and sat down on a hot stove lid. Describing this experience, he wrote, She will never sit down on a hot stove lid again, and that as well, but also she will never sit down on a cold one anymore. A negative experience can ruin the good outlook a person might have had in the past. Someone might enjoy a restaurant for years, but if one night they have a horrible experience, it might stop them from ever going back again. In life, this type of negative association, causing us to avoid specific places or things, is natural and sometimes harmless. However, when it comes to our spiritual responsibilities and experiences, we cannot let one negative situation cause us to turn away from doing the work of the Lord or turn away from Christianity altogether. For example, maybe you tried to convert someone who will no longer be your friend because you taught them things they didn't like or agree with, and you no, no longer want to try to convert someone again. Or maybe an elder or preacher made a decision that was wrong or even sinful. After all, we are all human and can make mistakes, and you lost faith in the church altogether. Paul went through more traumatic experiences in a few years than any of us will go through in a lifetime. Yet, he never once said, this is too hard and I want nothing to do with this anymore. Rather, he forgot about those things which are behind and pushed on to the things which are before, as he describes in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. At times, it can be easier to give up and try to avoid another negative experience. Don't be like Mark Twain's cat and avoid every spiritual thing just because of one or even two more negative experiences. As Christians, we can't be quitters, no matter the trial. As our Lord put it, shake off the dust from your feet and choose to get back to work. Thanks for spending two minutes at the cross with me. This post was written by Dalton Gilreath. I come here.